Hey everybody, welcome to another adventure. Uh, today we are on another part of the Appalachian Trail. Uh, we are going to hike out to Rocky Mountain Shelter. So we're going to hike out part of the Appalachian Trail out to Rocky Mountain Shelter, have a little lunch here and come back. So come along. So, this is the Purple Lizard Meshaw Forest State map. Uh, right up here, right up there is Caledonia State Park. Uh, we are parked right down here. We are parked. And we are going to hike the Appalachian Trail out across this ridge top. And hopefully make it to the Rocky Mountain Shelter. And we'll Check out the Rocky Mountain Shoulder. Have a little lunch here. Should be a fun time. Come along. So it is a beautiful day for a hike. It's probably about 55 degrees. Sun finally came out. We have had some ugly, drizzly, rainy days lately. So it's really nice to see the sun and get out and enjoy some nature. So we have brought another cheap alternative backpack meal along and you'll just have to wait till I get out there and start cooking to find out what it is so if you take this side trail uh, gas pipeline you'll, you'll be going across the AT you'll see a gas pipeline hike up to the top of it and you'll have this view B-E-A Beautiful South Mountain Restoration Center uh, Way back in the day It was a big TB hospital uh, You'd come here because they felt They felt back then That the outdoors and the fresh air Helped cure uh, Your lungs uh, Of the TB
so you can see why they call it Rocky Mountain. A lot of really cool rock features. It'd be cool to check them all out, but I'd need a couple of days to check out all those rock features. Do 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 Rocky Mountain way to do 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 couldn't get much higher. Ba -da 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 -da. Faces are loaded in case he's at bat. Doing it day by day. Ba -da 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 -da. Knew that was coming, didn't you? Rocky Mountain Way. I don't think this was the Rocky Mountain he was thinking about, though. I know, I know, I forgot this one. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Rocky Mountain High, Pennsylvania. So after about a mile and a half, you finally head up into the rock. Maybe we'll get some views from up here. And we begin to rock steady, steady rocking all night long. And we begin to rock steady, rock until the break of, rock until the break of dawn. So we have come to the little blue marking and it shows Rocky Mountain Shelter. Rocky Mountain Shelter point three that way. So here we go. I often wondered how much the through hikers uh, hated going to some of these shelters because usually it's straight down a mountain well, a lot of times straight down a mountain and then you know in the morning you're gonna have to first thing you gotta do is climb straight up that but I guess their legs are so used to it doing a lot of miles every day that they don't even think about it after a while but wow I think about it every time I do one of these. Always seems to be a little ways off trail and, and never the easiest hike, but still very fun. So here we are at the Rocky Mountain Shoulders. I don't believe anybody's home at the moment. We'll check. Another broom. Nope, nobody home. So they're a lot like the Deer Lick Shoulders. But, ah, this setup's even nicer. You're, you're up on a little plateau here. You can see right down in the woods here. Very, very nice. So, you know the routine. We'll take the pack off and I'll take you on a little walk around here and we'll check things out. Very nice. You have a nice little little cooking fire pit there. This one even has a thermometer. And we're almost 58 degrees. We're almost to 60. Uh, yep, I'm really liking this. If I was uh if I was hiking the AT, it, it's probably worth the hike down here. It would make for a nice evening. Matter of fact, I would set my sights so you'd be here a little early and enjoy the area a little bit. So they even got a nice place to store your food. And that's always a worry. Uh, finding a tree to hang stuff. But here, they got a box. B 
be my guest, be my guest, be my guest. Nice little bathroom. And you're not going to believe me when I say this, but it actually smells good in here. I don't know. They must have an air freshener or something in here somewhere, but wow. First one I have been in that smelled good. Ah, there we are. There's the culprit. Very nice. Very, very nice. So now that we checked out the bathroom, we have the spring to see if we can find. Let's go for a walk. So the spring is down this way, but I see something over here. Let's go over and take a look at this first. So, wow, a nice flat area. If there's no room up there, you could camp down here in a little picnic. Picnic bench. Picnic bench and fire ring. Right over here. Look at that. More places where you could set up. Very nice. So I imagine, maybe this gets used a lot, I don't know. Caledonia's not far that way. You could maybe uh, park at Caledonia, maybe hike out here and have a, have a little overnight here. There's plenty of room. Uh, you could leave the shelters for the through hikers. And uh, yeah, you'd have a nice spot to camp. So I don't remember if I said, but it was two miles to the shelter, so start where I did it's two miles in two miles back you have yourself a nice four mile hike I'm gonna have a hundred mile hike till I ever get to this spring so I can see the road down here uh, we're not gonna hike down any further they bring you the whole way down to the bottom of the mountain of course that's where the water is uh, to get your water so if you need water it's worth it if you have enough i'd keep hiking on until you get to caledonia and know there's water over that way Hole. Our cup for tea, of course. Stand and the stove. So, what are we going to have? First, our tea will be one of my favorites, the lemon, lemon and ginger tea. So we'll have that. But we are going to try, stole this out of the cupboard again. We're going to try some potatoes, mashed potatoes with some spam cut up in it and some jalapeno cheese with it that should be really good so all we really need to do is heat up 16 ounces of water for this so let's get started
Let's put that on there. And it's burning, 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 burning. Our water on. I got about 20 ounces of water. And we're heating. Starting to get hot. So while that's heating, I'm gonna open this. And we're gonna mix everything in a freezer bag. Potatoes in there. Slide this in here for right now. Potatoes are in there. We're going to cut up spam. Two slices of spam. And we'll just cut that up. We're just going to cut that. Cut that. Cut it. And then we'll cube it. Cut that in little chunks. Little chunks. Hope no bear smell this. They're probably coming out of hibernation hungry as a summer ago. Throw them cubes in there with the potatoes and we'll wait for our water. And then we will, once that's mixed up, then we'll top it off with the cheese. So we've got that all but to a boil. I have found that one full thing of that brings us right to the edge of the boil. But we're going to try that. Tea. And we need right around 16 ounces for the potatoes. Dump that in there. Stir that up good. Let it stand for about a minute. Close it, keep it nice and hot. And we'll, we'll give it a stir here and see what it looks like. Oh my! Woo! You can see that that thickened up really nice. Look at that. Thickened up really nice. And we're going to add some cheese to that yet, but I want to eat a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
pretty good that way. Well, we're gonna add a little Velveeta. Well, there you have it. Cheesy, cheesy jalapeno and spam mashed potatoes. Mmm. Ho oh, ho ho. Boy, we hit her again. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Let me get you a real. Get you a piece of spam. Look at that. Spam. And look at that cheese and mashed potatoes. Mmm. Wow. Might be one of the best ones yet. Again. About a dollar for the potatoes, about a dollar for the spam, about a dollar for the jalapeno velveta. Mmm. Well, I'm going to eat this and let you alone. Oh. And we can't forget our lemon, lemon and ginger, lemon and ginger tea. Mmm. If you never tried lemon and ginger tea, try it. Really good. But we're going to sit down and have lunch and I'll see you in a little while. So, lunch has been consumed, and the really nice thing about mixing it all in a freezer bag, all your garbage, everything goes in there, uh, you don't have any cleanup, that was your dish, so, and then put that in your pack, carry out, and you're good to go. So, one last thing to do. And you know what that is. It must be in the other one. Oh. Ah, here we go. Rocky Mountain Shelter. So let's read. Let's read uh, May 13th, 22. Someone here went through my food and took half of my food. Uh, all my cliff bars, snacks, and supplies to get me four more days. Very unfortunate. Really sad. Bothers me. Blu-ray. Don't be that person. Don't take someone else's food. I don't care if you're starving. Now that'd be September 20th, 23. Ben, Zach, Eric, Shem, and Steve. Happy to arrive at this shelter. Not too happy about the hike down, though. I see I was saying that. Water source was sketchy. Ended up using the trickle out of the culvert across the road. Enjoyed some delicious mac, cheese, and chili. Compliments of Ben. Happy trails. So they kept a pretty good attitude after all that. March 2nd. Overseen trip thanks to all who take care of the shelter. Overseer check repaired latch on food box. Wow. So I'm gonna write in here three seven twenty-four YouTube at Day Hike Dave. And if anyone wants a sticker, I'm gonna leave one here. I'll put the sticker in the book and I'll put the book in the shelter. Okay, one last look around. So we are headed out. 
leaving the Rocky Mountain shelter. I hate to leave. A really nice spot. I really enjoyed it here. Uh, so far all of these uh, Appalachian Trail shelters have been very nice. Uh, I don't think I'd like it when it's crowded full of people, but this one has enough room you can spread out. There's lots of level tent campsites down below and beside here. So, yes, very nice. But anyway, I got over two miles to go back. So we're starting back. Uh, unless there's something really cool, I think this is where we're going to end it. So as always, thank you all for coming along. Uh, if you can, if you can and haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I'd like to get enough viewers that YouTube pays me a couple cents. And that might pay for my gas once in a while to get to some of these places. But you don't want to hear me cry about the economy. So I just ask you to subscribe if you can. But anyway, as always, thanks for coming along. God bless all of you. I'm praying for all of you. I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Hold on just a little longer. Time will help you see. Beautiful. Life is beautiful.